and this this just sucks. I know they're not all like this, um, but I am pretty negative at the moment. <sighs> we're leaving, and I'm nervous because we're gonna get our asses kicked in the Gulf Stream today, and a little bit on Tuesday. We're leaving Hampton, Virginia, yeah. and we, we were gonna go to Bermuda, but that got all up. Watch the F word. No F word. So we are going to BVI straight. So it should be nine to 10 days. Um, it's gonna be a really crappy Gulf Stream crossing. Yep. Chris Parker's like, are you sure you wanna do that? I'm like, just, just do it. <sighs> what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> shouldn't have said that. It's Sunday, we're gonna get to the Gulf Stream on Monday. It's gonna be pretty nasty. Monday afternoon and half a Tuesday be good. Then Tuesday nights should be, should be pretty nasty. Um, and then it should be pretty smooth sailing for the next five days and motoring. So yeah, so we're heading to the Gulf Stream. And- And who's coming with us? We have the famous- <laughs> You're this way? Come in. We have Alan and Nola with so us. We picked them up in the Bahamas. Aloha. We, we met them two years ago in Great, <laughs> Great Harbor, Harbor Key. Key. And we met and realized we followed each other on Instagram. Like, what do you guys sound so familiar yeah. for? Because we, we know you. Hey, yeah, we know, I know you. Yeah. <laughs> Is this on? Can I see it? I don't know if it's. If I'm, yes, it's on. Are we all in? Yes, we're all in. Okay. So they're Hello. they're an awesome crew, and they, they we're so happy that they're coming with us, and uh, we're looking forward to this. We're looking forward to getting there, maybe. I think that's it. We're looking Get, forward to getting, getting there. there. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right, arriving. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Bye. 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 Okay. You want to leave it here? I need to get on the boat. Yeah. All lines are off. Bye. 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 Stay safe. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Our first stop was just around the corner to top off our fuel tanks. We were going 1,500 miles. And while we are a sailboat, you never know when the wind will decide to quit. And we are leaving. We fueled up. We cleaned um, the deck. Checked the engine oil. We put new carabiners on the dinghy davits. And I think we're ready. Here we go. See y'all on the BVI. So we made our last provisioning run today. Went to Costco and the grocery <laughs> store. That's Kathy back there from Island Time. Burry. Catherine, she's driving. Here I am. And uh, I don't know if you can see the car, but there is not. I can't see the car. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think we all spent today? Is there like three thousand oh, dollars worth of gosh. groceries in this car? Huh. I think, think I said three hundred at Costco. You think that we were never gonna eat again? I, I mean, go, find another grocery store ever again? You know, and I said this in the car I was in the other day. Do you guys find that when you're shopping now, you're like keenly shopping? Oh yeah, because I'm afraid you're never going to get a good grocery store again. Yep. You know, after spending six months in the Bahamas where you buy yeah. a big bag of frozen chicken parts and you have no idea <laughs> what it is, and all you can get, Claws. all you can get is a freeze-dried, not oh freeze-dried, but vacuum-sealed sirloin steak, mm. you got to stock up now. You're just mm. not going to find this. No. And as I said, none of us are going to starve doing this or not doing this. We wouldn't starve, but you know, we're going to just eat real good. Yeah. I got enough lentils on my boat to last. I do too. Lentils, Beans, give rice, me gas. lentils, I can't do peas. It. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that would be a great one to pull on the uh, crew, you know. Hey, it's beaten. <laughs> it's cold up here. <laughs> well, you look beautiful. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> good. That's the Chesapeake Bay Bridge up there. And it looks like it ends. And that's basically because it does. Um, it's bridge a lot of the time, but then it also has tunnel for part of the time to let the ships pass, um, which is really pretty scary. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine driving over the bridge and then all of a sudden, boom, you're going down into a tunnel. So normally I would be outside 
showing you all of this, but it's freaking cold out there, so this is all you get. Sorry. Woo, baby. Can we have it sporty for next five days? The camera just never does justice to wave height. These were huge. We've got dolphin. Nobody's awake but me. So our trip to BBI has not started so well. We had a horrific night last night. Winds were 25, gusting to 35. Uh, <laughs> I, they were from behind, like 150, uh, but it was a really rough night. The seas were like probably six to eight footers, not exaggerating. I'm, I tend to exaggerate, but I'm not with that. So Adrian's down sleeping. Nothing, sorry, I just, nothing. And <laughs> we, uh, we're, we're, we decided to divert to, to Beaufort because if the, we were gonna have a rough Gulf Stream crossing if the winds weren't what they were projected, but the winds were a lot stronger than they projected. So I think the Gulf Stream is going to be horrific. And um, there, it looks like there's a weather window in a couple days on Wednesday. It looks like there's a weather window in the morning. So we'll take the chance, uh, keep the crew happy, and uh, shoot for BVI from Beaufort on Wednesday. That's the current plan. They change constantly. But uh, yeah, it was really, it was a crazy night, man. Woo. The jib keeps backwinding. So we're tying a preventer on it to see if it stops it. How was it for you last night? It was spectacular. You're such a liar. <laughs> it was pretty nasty. How was it for you last night? Uh, I've had worse, but it wasn't good. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, I think it sucked. Yeah. Now we're eating these um, egg muffins. Yeah, they're like quicheless. Crustless quiches. Adrian made these beautiful quicheless and crustless quiches. <laughs> Is that what you said? That's exactly what I said, Is and it? it's so wrong. It's just a crustless quiche. It's really good. <sighs> All right, let's go up to the helm and see what's happening up here. We've got 18 knots of wind, true wind. We're doing five knots because we're double reefed. Oh, we're not reefed at all in the jib anymore, but that's the only sail we have up. We don't have a main up. Um, last night just completely sucked. We had all night long, all night long, we had like between 25 and 30 knots. And then finally Jeff and I went to bed at three in the morning and Alan and Noah came up in like 5.30. I was like, God, it's gotten so bad out there. And it turned out we had 45 knot gusts and a consistent like 32, 33. These waves are at least six feet high. That we know because they go higher than our deck. And the deck is uh, five feet high. So we have abandoned going to um, all the way. We were supposed to just cross the Gulf Stream today and go all the way. We're not doing that. We're going to go to Beaufort, North Carolina and wait for things to calm down. We just put up the main... So now we're heading back into our normal direction to go to Mofer. Abandoning our course and heading to Beaufort, North Carolina took us over 200 miles out of our way. And when you only travel at six to seven miles an hour, that's a long time. We couldn't anchor in Beaufort because the anchorage was full. Luckily, Moorhead City is right next door. We dropped anchor at 1.44 in the morning. We were exhausted and it was only the end of day two. Well, we're leaving for the BVI part two. Still in Beaufort and we're leaving this morning and we should have a nice easy 
um, Gulfstream crossing at a relatively easy sail down to BVI. So nine days later, we should be there. The, the crew is doing a deck check now. How's the deck check go? Deck. Oh, deck check. hi. Yep, deck check is complete. Dinghy's tied down. So we got a new magma grill. The propane regulator, which is the on-off switch, is over there. So I, we put the grill on. I never used a grill. I was lowering the dinghy with the davits, and the davits smashed into the propane regulator, ripped it off. So now we have no working grill uh, until we get a new regulator part, which will be after we get back from the BVI. So we hung out here in Moorhead City for two days, and uh, now we're leaving again. It's 9 o'clock in the morning on the 16th. Anchors off the bottom. I thought I would hate it, and I do. I'm sick to my stomach almost the whole time. I can't sleep, so I'm exhausted. Um, just the waves, the waves out here, they suck. The wind is yucky, I'm just not having a good time. So, ocean crossing just is not for me. Hopefully, I'll feel better, because we have seven days to go. Maybe eight if we're not lucky. Ugh. Okay. I didn't do this. 
lens wide enough. Oh, oh look at this guy, he's big. It's okay. It's a good size. <laughs> the sleep is hard to come by. Um, these waves are just nuts. Yeah. We were supposed to have about something like 11 to 13 knots of wind. Um, well, we've had 18 to 20. Right now we got 21. Saw so as high as 27 last night. But these waves are crazy. I would guess they're three to five feet, mostly on the beam. And we're getting some that are bigger. And well, I guess this is what ocean passaging is all about. I think we're going to get lucky and go right through this little cold front that's right in front of us. And on the other side of that cold front, you can kind of see it. It's going to be like paradise on the other side of that. Starlink is working like a champ. The boat's handling it really well too. I mean, the boat's fine. And that makes me feel better. What? That makes me feel better knowing that the boat is handling it, you know? Yeah. The boat's doing a good job. And she's handling it fine. I have faith in the boat, so that makes me feel less stressed. It's just nighttime is hard for me, you know, when I... Because you can't see anything, so... It's, you usually can't see things at night. Yeah, but if there's a moon, you can. There's no moon. Yeah, there is. You just can't see it because of all the clouds. So I'm hopeful that things are going to get better on the other side of those clouds. Okay. Okay. Oh. It's okay, just a 
super excited. All right. This is not the last one. Not in, not in, not in. Don't you pull up, let him pull up. Because he's so little. There you go. Now you got it. Nice job. Took a while. Nice job. Nice job, Alan. Yeah, nice job, you. Looks like you have the tough job. It's so bizarre how we're in the middle of the ocean, literally in the middle of the ocean, and there's one boat and it's on an exact collision course with us. So in one hour, we'll both be at that same exact spot. It's the most bizarre thing. We only saw three boats or three tankers on this trip and all three times we were on collision courses with them. In this giant ocean, I don't know how that's even feasibly possible. Boredom is one of the most difficult parts of a passage. Since I get seasick, reading or watching TV is next to impossible. There's always some type of exercise you can do, as long as it doesn't involve getting on the floor. But for some reason, I can knit. Maybe because I can look up frequently, I don't know. But all of my grandchildren are getting sweaters, ponchos, and blankets for Hanukkah next year. So here we are on day six. Six? Okay. Here we are on day six, and we're at the point of our voyage where we have to turn basically east into the winds. So we're gonna have about a day of kind of beating into the wind. It's not so bad, it's... Speak for yourself. What? Speak for yourself. Okay. She says it's bad. Um, we have like a, a, an entire day and night of kind of going into the wind, into the waves. And this is really the first time this happened on the trip. The rest of the trip has been pretty much downwind. We had some really big seas, uh, but all downwind. So it's been fantastic. Well, I don't want to say fantastic. It's been kind of shitty, but it could have been worse. So, heading downwind. I'm sorry, we're heading upwind today and sometime tomorrow morning. Then we're going to turn and head due south to BVI. I'm trying to get past, I'm trying to get east of BVI. So then when we come south, we can actually go southwest a little bit, and that way we might, we're not beating into the, way, into the wind. Maybe we're on a beam reach or a slightly broad reach. So that's the plan. I just told my daughter that uh, the next time I talk about crossing an ocean in this boat, she needs to remind me about how much this trip sucks right now. I'm really not having a good time. Boat's doing fine. Boat's great. The company is awesome. Hi. But waves like that one that are like eight feet high on the nose, yeah, that just sucks. I'm trying to smile and I'm trying to keep reminding myself I've only got two days left. Today is Wednesday. It's like 9.30 in the morning. We should get there Friday about 10, 10.30. Uh, but man, this, this just sucks. I know they're not all like this, um, but I am pretty negative at the moment. We've had a major, major leak in our forward um, starboard cabin from the hatch. And that's, of course, our laundry room. So here, take a look at this now. It was laundry day. We had a nice day. 
And um, I took out all of the laundry and I was going to wash all of our clothes and all of Alan and all his clothes. And I got two loads done and then the weather just started to suck. And then that hatch right up there, lo and behold, somehow the gasket now has a one inch gap in it. And I was just watching the water pour in. So all of this is soaked with salt water and I can't do a damn thing about it until uh, we get there. All right, how big do you think these waves are? Ten, at least. Some of them for sure. I, I would say constant six to eight, but there are definitely some tens in here. But good news is that hatch isn't leaking anymore. Oh, yay! I know. Oh, Mr. Tomato Plant. You've been so good to us for the last year, giving us probably more than 100 tomatoes. I know it's been more than 100 tomatoes, but alas, your time has come, and a burial at sea is appropriate. Alan, would you do the honors? Take your hat off, though. Oh, yeah, take your hat off. Gorda and Yost Van Dyke. And what seems like six months out here in the sea, maybe 10 days, 12 days? 12 days. 12 days. Uh, it's good to see land. Oh, I do. I see it. There's Virgin Gorda. Uh, there's uh, Virgin Gorda right here. Yep. I see it over there. I know you can't see it in the camera, but I see it. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Oh, what a welcome sight. seven and a half miles away from making the turn to the south side of Yost Van Dyke. And we have been out to sea for 13 days, made a quick stop in Moorhead City, but we left uh, Hampton, Virginia two Sundays ago, and today's Friday. What do you think? I'm tired. Yeah, me too. I hated it. <laughs> I hated it. I don't, I don't ever want to do it again. Uh, I'm glad I did it because I proved to myself that I'm right. I knew I would, I knew I would hate it. True um, proof. Yeah, I, I hated it. And there was nothing dangerous about it. There was never, not never, there were just a few moments where I was really, really uncomfortable and uneasy about the whole thing. 12 foot seas, we had um, some gusts to 45 knots. A lot of gusts in the 30s, but the boat handled great, and uh, she handled this whole trip much better than I did. I was like on the verge of seasickness every day, <laughs> every single day, which now I kind of think was nerves, really, because as soon as we, I woke up this morning and I knew, you know, I heard Alan yell land ho at nine o'clock this morning. I haven't been sick all day. So I'm sure it was nerves. Cool. What about you? I'm too tired to talk. Are you? Yeah. You're never too tired to talk. You must really not feel well. No, I'm just tired. Oh. We're going to sleep well tonight. So, welcome to BVI. We're, and the, the cool part is we're kind of, we're coming in strong. We're, well, until a second ago, we were doing eight, eight and a half knots. A uh, nice beam reach. So we're, we're kind of coming in hot and strong into BVI. Yeah. So that's kind of fun. It's not, like, it's not like we're limping in on two engines. With no gas. <laughs> well, we, we don't have much gas left. We, we did no, fuel. No, we did, but we still have more than an eighth of the tank on each side. Yeah. So I think we did pretty well. We yeah. sailed a lot. And uh, we sailed slowly when we needed to, you know. So I'm very, I'm very pleased with ourselves. Yeah. 
we, we could have burned less fuel and spent out been out another day or two. I've uh, had enough. But yeah, why why do I've that to yourself? Enough. You know, I'm at the point in my life where I don't understand why I would spend two weeks of my life doing something that I really don't like. And I'm not doing it again. Okay. We'll we'll do this some some way it'll be different, but I'm not doing it again. Yeah. Okay. So get to the BBI. Very excited though. First time in three years. Yeah. Drinks at Foxy's tonight. But champagne on board as soon as you come back from checking us in. Okay. All right? Yeah. I love you too, babe. So we just got to the BVI, we checked in at Joost van Dyke, but there was no place to go in Great Harbor, so we motored over to Cane Garden Bay, which is one of our favorite bays. We are removing the quarantine flag. Can I see that one? And we're putting up the BVI flag. You mean to take the top? She likes it on top. Everyone has their preferences. Abbott goes through the hole. Up the hall, through the back down the hall, up to the train. Thanks for watching. And leave us a comment. We love comments. Jeff is really, really good at responding to comments. So leave us a comment. Share this video with your friends if you liked it. Give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you'll know every time we upload a new video. <laughs> We're here. We're here. Thanks, guys.